bit of uh, exercises 1B. I'm going to get rid of that because we don't need that anymore. Um, so we're on to uh, a bit more about... <coughs> um, well, we, we, we're using a mathematical operation uh, object to demonstrate another of the critical issues that we need you to know about. Um, and this one is to do with uh, inlets and outlets, or certainly inlets anyway. Um, and the notion of hot and cold. So um, if you unlock the patch, I've suggested before that you hover your cursor over um, certain inlets and they will, uh, not only do you get a little explanation of what each one does, but you also get a little ring around it, um, one of which is blue and one of which is red. Um, <coughs> and these denote uh, these hot and cold inlets. And the basic rule is that um, a hot inlet will uh, yield output um, or trigger output and a cold inlet won't. So cold inlets um, the information is stored within the object, um, but it won't cause output, whereas a hot inlet will. And you'll notice that all outlets are always red, red circled, um, because they always have uh, output anyway. Um, and what does this mean? Uh, well, if I lock the patch, uh, you'll, s you'll have seen one of the uh, little demonstrations I did earlier. When you move uh, something that's going into, or when you send something to the right-hand inlet, nothing really happens. Um, it's only when you change the left-hand inlet that something would happen. Okay, so 20 plus uh, 57 is indeed 57. Um, <coughs> so that's really something to remember. Um, the other thing is that hot inlets are always on the left-hand side of the object. Um, some, sometimes you'll get other inlets that are hot, but predominantly the leftmost inlet is hot and the remaining inlets are cold. Um, and so essentially what we're looking at is things moving from right to left. So we do things on the right hand side first um, and then we move leftwards in order to generate an output. So what would happen if we wanted to, uh, to, to get output even if we're changing the right hand object? because um, it may be that I, I want to change this and still have uh, the output calculating my, or this object calculating the correct output. Um, well, in order to do that, let's, un uh, let's unlock the patch. <coughs> Move it up a little bit. What we want to happen is to be able to send this uh, message into the right-hand side of the object, have it update, um, and then tell the uh, tell the object to calculate the outcome. What I should just emphasize is that um, there, there are two, two sides to this calculation. Obviously, there's the left-hand side and the right-hand side, so something plus something else. Um, and whenever you send a number to any of these objects, the numbers are stored. So 25 will remain in this object until I change the left-hand inlet. Um, and 68 will be stored in the right-hand side of the object uh, until, we, until we change it. Um, so both of those numbers are currently stored. So that means that if I do change this and trigger output, we will still have 25 plus whatever this, this number up here changes to. Um, so what we want to do, as I say, is send the number into there and, and trigger output. Um, and so we use our, uh, a means of triggering the the data. So if I um, basically make a button um, and send the output of that to uh, the button and then into the left hand side of the object, then what will happen is that the number will be sent to there uh, and then um, also sent to the button object which will convert it to a bang and once again the bang message is a trigger so it says do whatever it is you do which is to calculate the outcome. Um, so if I lock the patch again and I change this value, then we will get output of an appropriate type. So 25 plus 80 is indeed 105, and if I change 25, then we, we get the correct calculation again. Um, so just to emphasize what's coming out of each of these in turn, let's add a print object. So if I change the number box here, 
uh, we get the number coming out of that number box. If we add it after the button object, it's converted to a bang. Right, so that's what the button object does. It converts anything it receives to a, uh, a, a bang message. So, um, I'm going to get rid of this because we're not really using it at the moment. And I'm going to um, do something which seems very insignificant but has uh, very significant implications. I'm going to move this button object to the right-hand side over here. Now, who cares? Why does that matter? Uh, well, it matters because uh, Max has a message order. Um, I talked earlier about the fact that hot and cold inlets go from uh, cold inlets predominantly on the right-hand side to a hot inlet that causes output on the left-hand side of an object. Um, well, the same is true of um, Max messages. They are sent to the right first and then progressively leftwards. So first of all, um, where you have a... A, several outputs coming from a an outlet, so several lines coming from an outlet of an object. They will go to the left, uh, sorry, to the rightmost line first, and then they will go to progressively leftwards. So if I had more than um, more than two, if I had say five, uh, it, the the messages would go progressively leftwards. Um, so what what implications does that have in this case? Okay, well I'll lock the patch again. Um, and I'm going to increase the number here from 79 to 80. Well, first thing you'll notice is that nothing happens down here, in spite of the fact that the button object flashed, so we know something should have happened. If I increase it again to 81, uh, we get 40 plus 81 is 120. Well, that's not right. Increase it again, 40 plus 82 is 121. That's not right either. If I decrease the number now to 81, um, 40 plus 81 is not 122. So what's going on? Something, something's not quite right here. Well, the not quite rightness is the fact that when the um, message is sent out of the number box up here, it's sent rightwards first to the button object, which converts it to a bang, which sends it to the uh, addition object and causes output. But that happens before the, uh, the new number from the number box is sent to the right hand side to be stored. Um, so we're getting output here before the calculation or the uh, the numbers that are being calculated have been sent to the addition object. Um, and the same is true here. So if I change this to an 82, the first thing that will happen is that the message will go uh, to uh, the button object first and then into the addition object which will cause output but the um, as far as the addition object is concerned it's still got 40 and 81 in it so it will come it will uh, give me 121 as an output um, and that happens before the message is sent to the right hand side to give me um, 40 plus 82 so and, and then of course there's nothing to tell it to produce output then because the bang has already been sent from button prior to the m number coming into the right hand side here that's a slightly verbose way of explaining it um, but I hope that, that makes sense. So just as I say, if I change this to 82, as far as the plus object is concerned, it still had 40 and 81 in it when it received the bang. The 82 was sent afterwards. Um, uh, and so the calculation is, is done wrongly. Now this, this issue of right, right to left um, order of um, occurrence, if you like, um, will, will crop up from time to time and it has issues or it has implications in all sorts of ways that you won't necessarily expect um, but there's also ways in which you can use it to your advantage um, in a variety of different ways as well. The, the critical thing is to remember that there is an issue there um, and we'll come back to that in due course. So if I just move this button object back to where it was before and I just need to um, yeah you go so I having, having pressed that button object then the calculation was done um, so it's now 40 plus 82 is 122. So if I move this back, now what happens is that the message first of all goes down the rightmost outlet into the uh, addition object, updates that to whatever the number in this now is, then the message is sent to the left into the button object, converted to a bang and then causes the output. So now the calculation will be correct.